In this video, I'll show you three easy ways to mask inside Adobe XD. One of the easiest ways to mask in Adobe XD is to use shapes. For example, let's say I want to have this profile photo inside of a circle. The easiest way to do this is to use the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Select both the circle and the photo and use Command Shift M to mask. If you want to reposition or scale your photo within the frame, you can do that by double clicking. A similar technique is to draw the shape first and then drag and drop your photo into the shape. For example, let's say I want to have a background photo. Use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle and then simply drag and drop your image into it. And again, you can double click on the image to rescale or reposition. Another option is to use the pen tool in Adobe XD to draw a shape. Select both the shape and the image, and again, press Command Shift M to mask within it. The last option is kind of a cheat. I personally prefer to do masking in Photoshop because it's much more accurate and easier. For this photo, I want the hand and the cup to be cut out from the background. I use the quick selection tool and click on select subject and add mask. Zoom in and make sure everything was selected. In this case, Photoshop missed a little bit of the lip of the cup. So I zoom in and use the brush tool to paint that area back in. Then I go to image trim so I can get rid of all the transparent pixels and file save as a transparent PNG. Then I can drag and drop this image into my XD file. And because I use Photoshop to mask out the background, now I can add a colored background on the landing page. And those are three different ways to mask for your designs in Adobe XD. If you found this mini tutorial helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more.